So how does a project structure look like? So the project is designed along the different levels in the database system. So milestone one is about the data store. You have to develop a data store. Milestone two is about the indexer. Milestone three is about the query optimizer. Milestone four is about the controlling component. So what's the lecture structure? Well, um, usually lecture, well, how we used to do it was something like that. I mean, you, you have the problem how to map the material to the different weeks. And what we did often in the past was something like that. So we basically did a walkthrough bottom up through the different layers, which meant we had like two weeks of hardware, then like four weeks of data layouts, another four weeks of indexing and data structures, sometimes a dozen index structures then some query optimization and then this controller component which means concurrency control recovery stuff like that the problem with uh, this structure is that usually when you see the material for the first time you get lost pretty easily if you have four weeks of data layouts maybe that's not so cool and if you have four weeks of indexing with i don't know 50 different index structures maybe you get a little lost so what we do in this lecture is something like this in this lecture, we will make a first relatively quick walkthrough through the material. So it's again bottom up, but just handling the most important aspects of database systems, the algorithms and indexes and everything you really have to know. So we have a week of hardware, maybe three weeks of data layouts and about the database store, then two weeks of indexing and then a week handling the controller component. After that, we do a number of top-down walkthroughs. So once we have this material here, yeah, that's about the basics of database systems, then we make additional iterations over the entire structure. So which means we make a walkthrough having in mind a specific application. So we look at a specific variant of a database system. We look at a specific application that has to handle a lot of data. And then we walk through top-down through the different levels and see whether we need to learn about new techniques, whether we need to introduce new techniques. So we have one week per application where we focus on a specific thing. That specific thing may be like NoSQL, it may be MapReduce, it may be data warehousing, maybe whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah? But then we have one week where we do another walkthrough, another top-down traversal of the architecture and introduce new techniques using specific variants of database management systems or specific data managing applications. And I think this structure is useful to really understand the material because we will revisit the stuff we learned in the beginning over and over again. Of course, we will deepen it, we will add stuff, but I think this structure makes sure that you really understand the foundational aspects of database systems very well. Okay, so this is many advantages. There's no overload with details. Yeah? You don't get hit by 20, 15 index structures. You have a better overview on the system aspects as well. So the different applications will teach you a lot about the interactions of the different levels and it better matches to the project. So if you go back again, so as I said, this was a project structure and you will start with milestone one in your project. And Everything you need to know about that in, in order to be able to implement Milestone 1 will be at your hands very early on. So if you go back to the lecture structure, you see after a few weeks, so by, by mid-May, you will know everything you need to know in order to be able to implement Milestone 1 and so forth. And then by end of May, you need everything you need to know to implement Milestone 2 and so forth. So we have a better match to the project. Yeah, and another effect of that is that you get an overview and a working system early on. So you don't have to wait till the end of the course or very close to the end of the course to get the components ready very early on. You will be able to see a working system and understand the basic concepts about how a database system works. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you. So if you want to see more database videos, be it in English or in German, take a look at my website datenbankenlernen.de. It has a couple of English and German videos. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jens Did. 
or you look at our website infosys.uni-silent.de. See you then.